Hello, wonderful people. Hello, every single one of you who loves books and uh, you, the reader, the believer in books, the believer in uh, a better future, in progress, in growth, in evolution. You as a believer and miracle worker and uh, light worker, parent, educator, grandparent, teacher, therapist, auntie, uncle, anyone who loves children and books. This message is for you. It's an invitation from my heart for something that really, really speaks to me. It's a real calling. It's a clarion call. For all of you who could actually see what's happening in, uh, in this wonderful Mother Earth of ours, uh, this man amazing planet, which is in crisis, but equally what's happening to the humans living on this planet. It's not about uh, being pessimistic, but it's how we can actually work together and inspire one another and take inspired action. This is what this project is about. I'm Chrisula Sirigo, The Golden Muse. I am an award-winning author of the book of soulful musings, living life with love, attention, flow, and ease. And having um, written and uh, published my first book with uh, the contribution of amazing co-authors from different eight countries in the world, 30 co-authors uh, that have got their own expertise in uh, various areas in holistic well-being and uh, health and healing. Personally interviewed by myself and the book is an amazing, amazing uh, piece. Uh, some people call it very beautiful and, and they call it top quality and they call it uh, they give you know they, it's beautiful photography in it and uh, really exceptional sharing storytelling real life stories and and understanding of that if you are in a difficult position in your life and you're struggling with your health or you're struggling mentally emotionally or looking for an answer or you're at crossroads there is something in this wonderful book the book of salt musings which actually is available to purchase online if you wish as a wonderful gift to yourself or a gift for Christmas to pass it on to somebody that you know they're going to value this, they're going to get something really, really important for their own understanding, for their own evolution. But the reason why I'm sharing this book with you is just to make sure that you understand that uh, it's not my first time writing a book and publishing a book myself. Um, and I believe in the power of books and I believe in uh, self-expression and communication, sharing our emotions, sharing our experience, sharing what we could do together to inspire one another and find ways forward. But I'm also a firm believer in amazing spirits, souls that children are. And I believe that they also have got something really important to share with the world. And I would like to create a platform for them to share that personal message from their hearts at whatever age they may be. I guess they need to be at some age they can write. And uh, so the new project, I called it Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth. Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth. And uh, some people call me the Rainbow Lady, some people call me the Queen of Colors, some people call me Rainbow Warrior. I'm the Golden Muse and I am, yes, I've got lots of different hats and, 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 and I love color and passionate about color. And the reason why I'm bringing Rainbow in, uh, in this project, in this book project, with your child co-authoring in my book, is because of what Rainbow stands for. One of the things that it stands for is hope. It stands for togetherness. It stands for kindness and compassion. It stands for optimism and belief, believe in magic, believe in miracles. 
And I also know, and you know, that children believe in magic. Children love colors. Children love expression through whatever medium, through writing or through painting or writing a poem. These letters, they're not only need to be a letter as such, but also it could be something that speaks to them personally. And I would love to, for them to find an, this channel, this opportunity to share their connection with colors but also their connection with Mother Earth, with, with the elements and what they see in this world and what they would like to see in this world, what their message is for us, the adults, the big, child, the big children, to, for us to understand what is it that we can do, what is it that we can bring together to create a better future for our children. The children got a voice. You've got a voice. So I would like to dedicate two thirds of the book to children's contribution, co-authoring in the rainbow letters to Mother Earth. But equally, I will allow letters and contributions from adults that they've got something really important to share in this book. If you would like to be part in this book, as a parent supporting your child, or as an uncle, as an auntie, as a godparent, as a teacher who you know that, you know children that they've got this natural gift to write or to draw, or that you know that this opportunity will be absolutely amazing for them to boost their confidence, their self-esteem, Contributing is something bigger, something that we could actually affect so many other lives, make a difference. We are, we are facing a huge crisis. We are facing a huge crisis with mental health issues, blockages, how to express ourselves, depression, lots of other diseases, autoimmune diseases. Alzheimer's, issues with sleep, obesity. I am sure you know what I'm talking about. This is not the point here to share with you the actual issues that are happening in your own family perhaps, or somebody next to you, your neighbor, or somewhere in your community, in your school, or in the wider world, what earth is going through at this stage what impact we have as human beings living and cherishing Mother Earth. Let children be the voice. Let them share their message in this book. This book is going to be part of a campaign of a movement. It's not going to be a book that will be read um, I would love to, this book to create that action in your country where you are, in your community, and allow children to read the letters in amazing opportunities, you know, close, close uh, private venues where they could actually share their voice. I would love to interview them myself on my, on my show, and, uh, and all of you, also adults that would like to step up and show up and contribute, you got something really special to contribute. Your role is hugely important. So there are lots of practicalities behind it, but I'm gonna make it very simple and straightforward. The editing of, of the each letter and poem is not gonna be is not gonna be huge because I would like to keep children's contributions as raw, as real as possible. There will be somebody, there will be an editor behind, of course, but you know, my, my connection with you and my, my if you like, my uh, role in all of this is to instigate that, to initiate that and hold space, hold space to, to direct it, to coordinate it, to, for me also to contribute in the book 
and for me also to work with you, collaborate with you, liaise with other organizations out there, liaise with local schools, liaise with your local school, and then get children and young people. Uh, any, any, from the age of uh, six to 18 or 19, that they're still going through, they're still growing up, they've still got so many issues going on inside them, and maybe their way of, of expressing, communicating, the way they see the world, and the way they see their relationship with, with you and with others, through a letter, a rainbow letter to Mother Earth. I'm super excited. It's something that I feel is a real calling for me personally and professionally as well. At this point in my career, and in, I see it as, as, a, as, a, as a wonderful opportunity for us to leave something behind, and, and, but more importantly, to act now. The time is now. We cannot just say, what can I do? There are other people trying, but they haven't done anything. What can I do? I'm only one person. You, one person, and another one person, and another one person. We're all together, holistically, as a whole. W-H-O-L-E. We can make something happen. We can create a shift. I believe in this. And if you're here still watching this, watching me talking, I know you believe in this. And I know you believe that sitting back and just complaining and doing nothing is not going to give us anything in return. On the other hand, we could do something. And this is the book is an answer, but it's actually the beginning of something bigger. The beginning of something that will create a big shift that will help our children, it will help us all living on this planet Earth, but on the, at the same time, it will help save planet Earth. So here we are. Uh, I'm gonna send that to uh, all of you that believe that you are either connected with children or you've got your own children or you may have nieces or nephews or somehow you i know you personally but also if you know somebody else that they will be responding they will be acknowledging they will be realizing how alerting the situation is how important is it you know to for us to do something and bring the children aboard as well. Because at the end of the day, we're talking about their future. So let's work together on this. I would, I would be honored to have your child as a co-author in my book, Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch with me directly, Priscilla. My email address is info at chrysulasirigu.com. And of course, there will be a page link on my website address, on my website, where you'll be able to read more about the synopsis of the book, about the, the why behind it, and any other practicalities that will help bring the book to life. There's a, a short financial contribution uh, to cover up all the admin tasks. But I believe that this is an amazing gift, uh, an ethical gift that you can give to uh, a child that you know. You can sponsor a child. You can sp sponsor a letter that a child can write because there will be a few places that for those children that uh, and with their parents, whose parents will not be able to afford the very small amount to help towards the admin admin uh, tasks behind uh, the creation of the book so get involved it is uh, this is a project with a very big heart truly meaningful 
and with a lot of impact and you can make a difference. I believe in you and I love you. Thank you.